on May 23, 2020. I'm okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop, stop. I think we get it by now. I suggested the Ram skin for Voca. It got in the game. I still haven't gotten it. It has been like a month. I really want it now. It's taking way too long. Uh, just finish the intro. Welcome to Road to Ramskin. Hey guys and welcome back to number 8? 9? I have no idea how many Road to Ram skins we have done. It has gotten out of hand a little bit, hasn't it? <laughs> To be honest, I have expected to be having the skin by now, but I guess luck isn't on our side. Oh well. Anyway, in this episode, we're gonna open up basic crates again, so wish me luck opening them and getting the ram skin. Let's open up the first one. Let's go. And the first crate is going to be... Bubbles. Bubbles actually doesn't look too bad. And has quite a nice color to it. I would have expected to have small bubble particles. But once again, it isn't really that rare of a skin. So I understand why they didn't give it small particles. And here we go. The next crate is going to be... Red Wave. Red Wave. Or, like everybody else likes to call it, the PewDiePie skin. It is quite a nice skin, but is very much affected by the stretching that some of the character models have. Next up, we have... Techy, right next to Vaporwave. This is actually the very first time that I got Techy, which is pretty cool. It doesn't look that good on the hair, but for the most part, I quite like this skin. Techy again. Boo. Ooh, we got basic purple. Did I even have that one? I actually didn't own basic purple yet. And wow, it looks actually pretty cool. It is a little bit too blue for my taste, but it still looks absolutely amazing. A really cool basic color. Next up, TNT right next to Catgirl. That's an ouch. I have gotten TNT quite a lot now. But I still love it every time I get it. The red on it is just so, so awesome. Next up, Radioactive. Yeah, I feel like we have been getting this in almost every single episode now. So there isn't much to say about it anymore. It is nice, but not something I would personally use. Ooh, we got tired! I'm gonna keep saying this every time we get it. Tired is a great example how a simple skin can be super cool. I love this. And the next crate is... Corn! Right next to Blue Mate. On the bright side though, I didn't own Corn yet. On the negative side though, Corn looks kind of bad on Voca. It's not terrible, but it looks meh, meh. Next up. We got Error. Ooh. I always like to see Error. It brings me back to the good old days of Gary's mod. When your textures just wouldn't load. Once again, I'm a little bit disappointed of how stretched it is because of the UV map of Voca. But it's still a pretty cool reference. Basic yellow. Basic yellow looks... Eh. I have no idea if it's just me, but it looks like it has a little bit of green in it, which is kind of weird. I would have liked this to be a little, just a little bit more vibrant. Ooh, we got gummy. I actually don't mind getting gummy. Gummy is a really cool skin. I love the way how the skirt looks with like this triangle pattern. It looks absolutely amazing. Next up, we have Noob. Noob is, without a doubt, one of my favorite common skins in the game. It is so simple, yet so effective. I absolutely love this skin. 
The next present we're opening is Basic Blue. Basic Blue isn't actually that bad. I quite like it. If this is one of the first skins that you ever get, it might be cool to wear. Next skin is going to be Noob again. Right next to Charming. That's kind of a shame. Ooh, we got cardboard. I love cardboard. Cardboard is such a creative and cool skin. It looks absolutely amazing. Wow. Oh, I love cardboard so much. Next up. Basic purple again. And here we go again. Is it going to be the maid skin? It's gonna be painter. Yeah. I really don't mind getting painter. I love painter. Welcome to the club. And this crate is going to contain... Basic white. I feel like basic white is an absolutely amazing basic color. The only problem is, is that I don't find it fitting for Voka. But I think basic white looks really good on other heroes. So it is a pretty nice common skin. And the next crate is going to contain... Cone. We actually haven't seen Cone in a while. I quite like Cone. While it isn't that good on Voka, it still looks decent. I feel like Cone looks absolutely amazing on Bebo. As when Bebo wears it, he looks like a construction worker. Why, 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 why does it always have to come down to this? Why don't we have infinite coins? Hilo, please add an infinite coin game pass. Actually, don't do that. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, we are at the last crate again. So let's just put our fate in it, I guess. Come on. Come on, please. 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 Camo. Oh, right next to the host. Why does this always happen? Luckily, there is a bright side though. I actually didn't own Camo yet. And it looks quite cool you know we've been doing this for so long now and so many episodes because i'm kind of running out of jokes at the end like seriously we should have gotten it by now uh well next time we're gonna open up rare crates again because i like to alternate between basic and rare crates but luck just isn't on our side. For some reason, we are not allowed to get the blue maid skin. It is absolutely insane. This is gonna take years. But we are gonna do it. Even if it takes five seasons, we are gonna do it. Watch me. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and wanna see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video episode. Bye-bye!